<laughs> oh, pulling him in, baby. <laughs> hey, I'm walking in. Let's get it. Bernard, I am a nudist too. When I'm at home, I'm naked all the time. What's that? Ah! Oh, my fern. Big Leroy. Warm it up, big boy. Welcome to the big show. <laughs> Welcome to the Carl Long Show, with your host Carl Long and his brother, from another mother, Paul Swan. On today's show, silly season keeps spinning. Digger doesn't disappoint, a man more hated in Boston than Tom Brady. Bernard Paula joins the show, and backed by popular demand, Swan names things. And now, the man who once saved five kittens from a tree, Carl Long. Wow! All right, everybody, welcome back. I thought last week's episode was awesome, but we have a great one in store for you today. So first, this. Extra, extra, read all about it. The driver of the 48s. Oh, wow, this is crazy. So a goat leaves the whip and another guy comes in, Alex Bowman. What's the situation here, Paul? What do you think general reaction is going to be from fans and drivers? Silly season, man. That's that's what it's all about in NASCAR, and uh, we'll see how Alex Bowman does with that 48. I know he's uh, he's been racing well, winning races, top fives, top tens. So we'll see what Hendrick has up their sleeve. They're not they're not dumb. They're a great organization, and and I know they probably have a pretty good plan up their sleeve. Time for the time machine. Let's take a trip back for an immediate reaction. Here's Kyle on Vega. All right, so I got some sleep. I got to think about Talladega. I got over my frustrations with all the incidents with Kyle Busch involved. But the thing I want to talk about is the yellow line rule. Denny Hamlin winning the race by about that much. I love that super slow-mo. But I do want to talk to you about the yellow line rule and how it affects races and what your thought process is on. Man, I don't know. I mean, I, I get why they have the double yellow line. And I think the calls were made how the rule is, you know, put in place. But it's just like, you know, with Denny, he said, you know, I'm trying to miss a wreck. And, you know, that looked like there could have been a wreck. The sparks were flying from William Byron's car. He did what he thought he needed to do. And per the rules, you can go below the double yellow line if you're trying to avoid a wreck and not, you know, not be penalized for it. Gosh, it's tough. And then, like, with Matt Benedetto, did he block? I think they need to get rid of that double yellow line on that last lap and just let them race man let them let them just have fun and have at it you touched on matt de benedetto raced his ass off fighting for his position in a new car next year i think we've got some pieces of this interview here let's take a listen in god i feel like it's the same story <laughs> a lot of times just heartbreak um I, my wife and i have had a stressful week uh, again <laughs> you know just not uh, uncertainty fighting i man Oh, careers a fight for my life. But I'm so appreciative of this team. So much fun to drive and have a shot to win. And, and Denny did a great job. Oh, this is tough. So that's an organic reaction. He uh, he's very invested in in that car, in this sport, in wanting to win races. And it's it's tough. It's it's tough to get so close and to have it taken from your grasp like that. But I mean, that's part of racing. And you know, I know he's going to have another shot at it. He's a great racer, and he'll find him his way back up there again. Roll out the virtual red carpet. The self-proclaimed Black Dale Earnhardt Jr. is stepping up. Bernard Pollard is here. And now we are joined by none other than Bernard Pollard Jr., Super Bowl winner, massive eye racer, and a new NASCAR fan like myself. How you doing, Bernard? I'm good, man. How y'all doing? Doing great, man. Welcome. We know you're a new fan. We know you're a Bubba fan. Um, how does the news about Michael Jordan and Bubba Wallace, Denny Hamlin teaming up settling in on your end do this so 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 we gotta we gotta fix that so everybody's been talking about me being having a favorite driver now bubble was he was one that helped me kind of come to the sport watching my wife was actually watching the news i'm just a fan of all the racers man like you know every everybody say well just because because bubba he black they think i'm supporting them and i'm looking like i support all the drivers like you, you know said I mean? you saw you said you saw him on tv and you were like Wait, Bubba? That's yeah, what Bubba I, I, looks like? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things, man, where I don't have a specific driver. Bubba's been awesome. I think this I think this move with Jordan is is, is fantastic. I think you bring 
I think you bring, you know, a different type of leadership. You bring a different dynamic uh, to ownership. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, for him and for uh, Jordan and, and Denny. Yeah, I see. I see what you're doing there, Bernard. You're uh, you're not picking a favorite driver. You're just coming into the sport trying to see who's the best guy, who you can kind of be the front runner with. I, I get what you're doing there. Pete, man, look, bro. Like I, I'm a fan of all the vets. So I'm a Truex Jr. Uh, uh, Kevin Harvick, the closer. No. I'm looking at uh, Denny Hamlin. I mean, them dudes, I don't, for some reason, when I started watching, I'm looking like, man, for some reason, I like them dudes. And then I saw their age, and I'm looking like, dang, it must be because I'm, I'm almost as older, or they older than me. But, you know, <laughs> but I, I'm just a fan just of all of them. Because for me, Pete, like, I didn't get a chance to, to know the sport growing up. So right. to watch it now, to, to everything that everybody's told me, there's no strategy. All they do is go left and this and that. And I'm looking like, dude, there's all kind of strategy out, out there. Hearing the crew chief and hearing the spotters and hearing everybody, I'm looking like, man, I'm sold, man. I'm, I'm, I'm in this thing. What were your thoughts about Talladega? What did you like, like about the finish? We had the yellow line rule. I don't know how you feel about that. Talladega was – it was awesome. I mean, it, 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 it reminded me a lot of uh, Daytona. So, when as I watched Daytona, I didn't really – so, as I get on the rig and I, I was racing Daytona, everybody's like, Bernard, like, you're going to have a lot of fun. Seeing Daytona, I was just like, damn. Like, I'm like, bro, like, these dudes, how they use each other, like, you know, as far as the win and how they get into the packs. And then Slingshot. You, bro, like, didn't they do no, the day? I'm looking like, I was, I mean, just to see all the wrecks, I'm looking like, dude, like, this is, this is phenomenal. And this is the fun part for me, watching that and seeing, like, the big one. I'm looking like, I'm hearing people say the big one. I'm looking like, what the freak is the big one? Like, I'm seeing Rex. They look, Bernard, that's not even the big one. I'm looking like, what the freak is the big one? When it happened, I'm looking like, there it go. I hear you. I understand the big one now. Yeah. So you were uh, you were named the Bone Crusher at Purdue, I see. Little nickname you earned. So you had, you had to be, uh, be smoking dudes out on the field, I'm guessing. Hey, man, look, P, I, I did my job, man. I, and I did it well. I, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, man, you had to bring up the Purdue days, man. Are you gonna Are you gonna be the bone crusher in the in the sim racing world? I mean, is this gonna carry over, bro? Look, so look, look. Now that you said it, I, I am, I am, and and I say this, and I'm proud to say it. I'm the black <laughs> Dale Junior. And so, oh, speak I, on I'm it. Black. Hashtag, it. hashtag there it is. the black the black Dale Junior, man. So <laughs> Let's I, go. I'm, there he Let's is. Let's go. Hey. So love. look, man. Like, I, hey, Pete, when I'm That's, out there racing, bro, I just finished second yesterday. I was so excited. I was, oh. I was in, bro, I was in first place, and I, oh, I, I wanted to block the guy, but I didn't want to get any uh, points, incident points against me, so I kind of, like, moved out the way, and his, the nose of the car passed, so I ended up getting second place. I was in my office dancing. It went down. And I'm just, I let them suckers know. I'm looking like, bro, I'm just now getting onto this and I'm beating y'all. It was, was an A class. I'm what like, car bro. number? What car number were you? And you finished so, in second. I, I believe I was car number eight, if I'm not That's mistaken. great point. Yeah, that's IR, baby. That yeah. Perfect. It's now time to play two truths and a lie. You got to give us three, three things about you that are all believable, and two okay. of them are truth, one of them's a lie. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I graduated uh, from Purdue University in three years. I'm a nudist, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I ate shrimp, rice, and shredded chicken with Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A, but it wasn't from Chick-fil-A. You bought chicken from Chick-fil-A, and you brought it to a noodle place. That sounds true as shit. So you graduated from Purdue in three years, you're a nudist, and you ate fusion chicken from Chick-fil-A, which is a brilliant, that's a brilliant way to go. I'd say you didn't just come up with that, you crave that. That's the truth. Yeah. I think you also graduated from three years at Purdue, and I'd say you're not a nudist, because a nudist wouldn't be wearing a watch and a t-shirt and, and being indoors while there's still sun outside. All right, so what you got, Pete? The food deal is definitely true because you don't just come up with that off the top of your head. The uh, graduation, this is the one I'm, I'm struggling with. Uh, the three years, that's tough. I mean, that's tough for any football player, any normal student. And the How do we do? How do we do, I, Bernard? I did not graduate in three years. I left. Ah, right, I'm on the right <laughs> path. So yeah, I left as a true junior. I left as a junior, but I did not graduate in three years. 
This guy left early and shit. Second round pick. Yes, I knew hey, it. Second round pick in 2006. 2006, brother. Another win for me against Kyle in the uh, two truth one lie as well. Yes. <sighs> Right. Yeah, I'm 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 very nude all the time. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it was bad in the locker room. I, I mean, I held conversations nude. Yes. Um, my teammates hated me. I would go to the shower with my basket, my soap, my wash rag, butt booty naked with my sandals on. Wait, 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 wait. Kyle, were, did you wear sandals in the shower or no? You no, like, I, I, I knew you, you did. You would have had. I weighed 350 pounds. I had a cul-de-sac bald head. And I, you know, I was a shower pill guy some days. Some days, you know, no towel, air dry while packing a oh, dip. Right on him. Bro. <laughs> oh. Bernard Pollard Jr., thanks for joining the Kyle Long Show alongside my co host, Paul Swan. We do appreciate your time. You're the man, man Bernard. I love the energy you brought, brother. Hey, man. Thank you guys for having me. And now it's time to play Swan Names Things. Butcher, Harambe, Pete, Laser, Blazer, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael. Well, it's now time for Kyle and Swan's viral videos of the week. Kyle, you're up, Buttercup. Okay, so I'm gonna set the scene here. We're golfing, charity tournament. I got my phone here, so I'll be able to show you guys the video. Imagine getting paired up with John Daly at a charity golf tournament. You've had a couple adult sodas, maybe some Diet Millers, like my guy Luke Combs likes to say. Here you go, John Daly steps up to the tee box. Short par three, barefoot, mullet flowing, takes a nice little pancake chunk out of the ground. And you can hear in the background, the guy says, this guy plays golf. Got a hole in one, didn't even react really, just turns around. He's looking for a beer. He looks like he's dehydrated. Get this guy a beer and a trophy and a cigarette for sure. What do you got, Paul? Gosh, I love that, man. John Daly is an absolute majestic legend. Yeah, the, the no shoes is another top-notch quality of the video as well. We're actually, uh, me and the boys are going down to Pinehurst on Friday, and we're going to play the cradle barefoot, shirts untucked. Maybe slam some clams. You guys are lucky. Being in the city here, we don't get to play golf. I wish we could slam some clams up here. You know what I'm saying? But it's mostly cannolis. Hey, I'm walking in. Slamming some cannolis. <laughs> All right, so I got a video that's pretty nuts. No pun intended here. We got uh, Dinky the Squirrel. My man's speeding up to come get some nuts. It looks like Dinky. some Dink, Dinky. Dinky is nuts for nuts. This guy's guy aggressive. Stuffing him in. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna challenge old Dinky. I got, what we got? A, What's the challenge? I got a little prop down here. I got some, uh, you know, off-brand marshmallows. Okay. We're gonna see how many marshmallows I can fit in my cheeks. Let's do an over/under. I'm gonna put the over/under at 16, and I think it's gonna be under 16. That's that's a pretty big uh, pretty big number, but all right, let's go. Okay, we got off brand. I figure it's not as uh, dense. Off brand, they're a little softer. Yeah, there you go. There's two. Come on, Dinky. Three for Dinky. Four for Dinky. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Six. <laughs> Seven, Dinky. Come on, baby. You gotta close your mouth though. <laughs> dinky, dinky, dinky. Double digits. Okay, somebody sent him an EMT. My God, tell the kid to spit it out. Oh! <laughs> Man! I think you made Dinky the. What was that? Uh, Close to 10. A chipmunk? Is that what it was? A chipmunk. Chipmunk. Dinky the chipmunk. We got we got uh, Swan the Marshmallow Man. Sounds like a superhero show for kids. Dinky and Swan. Dinky and the Swan. Like Pinky and the Brain. Tickets, please. Kyle and Swan read your comments from YouTube. All right. You got Swan. Up first, we got uh, Mr. Pistol. That sounds familiar, and you know why? Because that's actually my brother. 
He, uh, he says, just keeps getting better and better. Keep it up, dudes. That was good. We, we got to send uh, Mr. Pistol some beers. He's enjoying the show. We enjoy having him as a listener. Love to hear that. Biggest fan. So I've got Bandit Productions from five days ago. They said, if you're the head of iRacing, what classic content would you introduce? Love the show. Can't wait for the next episode. First off, I appreciate you watching me and Paul and everybody here at the Kyle Long Show. We put a lot of work in here. And in regard to classic content, I would make a way to introduce the original Daytona track with the sand, with the entryway onto the beach, coming back up the hill. It's pretty awesome to think about. I love the old pictures, but classic Daytona is what I would add. I love that. I love that. And thank you for the support, Bandit. Okay, we got a uh, fitness fight club. Sounds like a sounds like a hardo. He says, uh, horrible interviewers. So cheesy. You sound like little kids. Whew. Man. Wow. Fitness, fitness fight club doesn't really like the board. You hear a lot of kids do interviews, fitness fight club? Come on, yeah. bro. Get out of here. Get them out of here. And you know what? Sometimes I act like a little kid, so I guess if I sound like a little kid, maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, you know, we know our audience, Fitness, and you are a little kid, so we're playing to you. We're playing to you, bro. Playing to you, buddy. Who's ready for another cutoff? Better drink your Ronal team for this week's playoff race in Charlotte. Yeah, man, a lot of, lot of guys on the outside looking in, but it's, it's Charlotte. We're at home. You know, we're going to put it all out on the line. And we're going to see what happens, man. We're pumped up. We're going to try to go out there and get a win. Road courses, they present a lot of difficulties, a lot of challenges. And it's October. It's Halloween month. So we need these guys to dress up like some monsters and get in their outfit and go out there at Charlotte and make it happen. I need a great race from Austin. I need a great race from Kyle. Let's go! What's that? This is the end. My only friend. The end. That's our show. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out past episodes and other radical videos. Till then, hasta la vista, baby. Okay, now I think I got smudge on. Way to go, asshole. Oh! I love your energy, Bernard. This is great. <laughs> I love this guy, dude.